Welcome to this tutorial video. Once again we're looking at smoothing of XY scatter graphs and in this case we're looking at a three point median smoothing. This is not to be confused with the three point moving average, this is a three point median smoothing. We've got our same initial data for the last examples whereby we have months and the number of births at a small country hospital. So in January there were 20, 10 births, February 12 births, etc. down to December 15 births. We want to look at a three-point median smooth. Here's our original data. I put that in my TI Inspire. Let's have a quick look again. Menu, we want a graph. And I want to select births against our months. So here's our data. It's scattered, a lot of variation, a lot of fluctuation. We want to try and smooth that so we can indicate what direction, if any, there's a trend line for this data. So let's return back. We want to look at how we three-point median smooth. Technique is very, very simple. Look at the first three numbers and we place them in order. Six being the lowest, 10 being the middle, and 12 being the highest. And of course the median is the middle number when they're in order. So our first point as a three median smooth of the first three months is 10. We then move down to our next three bits of data. 5, 6 and 12. 6 is the three point median. It's the middle point when they're written in order from lowest to highest. 6, 5 and 22. 6 is the next median and so forth. 18, 18, 13, 9, 9, 9 and 10. So there's our three point median data. Now as a calculator this is very very simple to calculate. Equals there is a function called median and I want to find the median for the first three values. Return and I get a 10. Very, very simple. Grab that, drag it down. Okay, we don't want the last value here because really median from, a, from cell B11, 12 and 13, there's nothing in 13. So we delete that. Okay, that data now can be graphed. This is our th uh, 3p median. If I go back, I haven't called this yet. This data was called a 3p median. So when I return to my graphing, I'll change that to 3p median on this axis and months. Okay, so this is my 3 median center data. We can also add a regression line. Now I try and do this. We'll see what happens. This quite often comes up on the calculator saying a dimension mismatch. We go back to our original data. That means we are trying to graph 2 against 10, 3 against 6, 4 against 6, etc. Now the time code of 12 has no data whatsoever. Okay, so we need to enter in using this key and the underscore return that this doesn't actually have a data point. It eliminates it from the graph. So when we go back to our plotting our graph now we've got no data there and that has no data up here as well. When we go back to this and we try now to do analyze a regression, linear regression, suddenly an equation does work. Okay, so this is our smooth data for a 3 median. It doesn't look particularly smooth but if we go to menu, property types, add a y value, and we want to put in the original data, you can now see our original birth data has a lot more fluctuation and variation with the blue pieces. Okay. We're interested interested rather in our smooth circular data. It's reduced the large variations. Let's check this as a graph. So I've got y equals 0 0.0242 x plus 10.642. Y equals oh, 0 0.0242 x plus 10.642. Exactly the same function. We'll simplify that and just put in our 3 median. There's our data using a 3 median smoothing technique. 